There is a ton of air guns on the market now in that 210 quid mark, with imports from all the way from Turkey and China flooding the market with very affordable guns with extremely exotic features. Well, I wouldn't say this one stands out a great deal, but it probably should. This is the Virag HW30K kit, a junior brake barrel air gun. You have a nice beach stock with no checkering. The trigger is a record trigger, so actually what you're getting with this very basic rifle is one of the best air gun spring gun triggers on the market by quite a long way. The stock is held on by two screws, very, very simple. And you have a very nice little brake barrel with a little weight at the front, all very, very simple, built off this little 25 millimeter piston. This is a very simple air gun. And as I said at the beginning, it, it kind of is a bit difficult, isn't it? Because actually for this sort of money now, you're actually looking into entry-level PCPs or at least starting to st be able to step up into that. This only being 8.4 foot pounds as well, holds quite a unique market space. As a beginner air gun for somebody who wants to start with something simple and extremely reliable, this is it. However, it will take one not to be distracted by some of the less well-constructed guns on the market. Anyway, it's enough talking about it. Let's see how it actually performs and see whether it really weighs up. So first things first is you do feel the quality of engineering when you cock it, use it, load it, make it ready, and then use that record trigger. It is a beautiful, beautiful air gun. And I think that for me, or for me over anything else, so many of these reasonably priced guns come with absolutely awful triggers. And for me, this is what makes this gun very special. However, it's worth mentioning that this gun isn't really designed for people like me. This is designed for juniors and smaller people. And I make this gun look quite ridiculous. So at this point, I'm gonna hand over to Michael who's probably a little bit more target audience for his thoughts. Here you go, mate. I uh, really appreciate your thoughts on how it is, how it is to shoot, what the optics are like. Enjoy. One thing I will say is this, well, this is a, shall we say, budget air gun. It does have the very nice Virac trigger in it, which is a lovely two-stage with a nice clean break on it. This fire arc is actually sold as a kit. So you get the scope included with obviously the mounts as well. So it's an 11, 9 to 11 dovetail rail. And it's not actually that bad, the scope that comes with it. It's uh, four by 32, just a decent little sort of garden plinking optic. If I was gonna buy it, I'd probably upgrade the scope, something like a either a Vantage from Hawk or a like one of their Panorama series, that will fly to 15, will go really, really nicely on this. So, I've just been uh, shooting some steel. Let's shoot some paper and see how it performs. I'm actually really, really impressed with this. It puts out about eight point, I think it's 8.5 pounds, if I remember correctly. Um, perfect as a sort of junior gun, really. So where you've got that nice sort of small scaled down dimensions, I'm a big fan. I really am. I'm not going to lie to you. That's probably not going to be the best group in the world as the uh, wasn't exactly the best rest and it was quite uncomfortable. It's not that terrible. 35 yards, that's not terrible three shot group, really. So in conclusion, I'm a big fan. I'm a really, really big fan. I think as a junior air gun, it's perfect. You've got that nice small dimensions, really, really good. Not too powerful. Good enough for sort of like garden plinking. Yeah, there's not much more to say. It's a really, really good gun that works. I mean, it's a Viroc at the end of the day, so. I'm a big fan of Viroc. 
I think they just put out some awesome, awesome rifles with some awesome designs. Something like the 100 FSB, the uh, 100 Bullpup as well that's just come out. That's, that's just an awesome rifle. So, I'm a big fan. Anyway, thanks guys, see you next time.